Um, you can look at the E just at the beginning of the top line. Uh, so I'm just going to cover and uncover your eyes. I'll just check how well your eye muscles are working together. Okay, very good. Lovely. And then if you can look at the H for me down here next to my finger, I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Good, so now then I'll just show you what the photograph um, of your retina looks like. <clears throat> so this camera um, that we have is a very useful one because um, it looks much further out into the periphery of the retina. So we get a much wider uh, and better view of the retina in general. Um, good, so, <laughs> um, so this is your right eye, first of all, your right retina. Um, good, so your retina is looking great, perfectly flat and intact. Lovely, so I'll slide this machine across. Um, so this one would just be a bright light. Um, good, so chin on the chin rest, thank you, and forehead up in the bar. Good, is the height okay for you? Uh, yeah. Great, so I'm just going to turn these lights down. Okay. Um, but you can stare straight ahead back at the screen behind me, it's fine. Um, so first of all then we'll just check your pupil reaction. Good, and if you can look down to the ground for me. Brilliant. Good, lovely, look straight ahead once more. So, if I can ask you to look through these for me, I'm like a pair of binoculars. So we'll do your right eye first. So I've made your left eye um, a little bit blurry. So it might feel a bit strange, um, but if you can try to keep both eyes open for me. Um, so if you look back over to the middle line, um, is that middle line clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? The number one. Okay, good. And then between number three now, and number four. Number three. Lovely, well, the minister so, so you've not been here before for your eye test, have you? No, it's the first Fine. time. Um, and do you know roughly when your last eye test was? Gosh, um... More than like two years ago. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So, and so your glasses, what do you wear them for? Do you wear them all the time or just for specific things? Um, I mainly wear them for like watching the television mm -hmm. or looking at things far away. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And do you drive? No. Fine. Um, and any problems with your vision with them? Um, do you struggle to see a small detail with them on? No, when I've got them on, I'm mainly okay. Good, good, good. And when you're reading um, small print close up in a book or on the screen, um, presumably you don't wear your glasses. Yeah, no, I don't read my glasses. For Fine. Close up. And any problems with your vision for that? Uh, no, not for that. No. Okay, good. Good. And have you noticed any other problems, like any headaches recently? Yes, although I think it's likely doing, due to looking at the computer too much. Mm. But yeah, I do get an occasional eye strain. Okay. Are you on the computer for a large part of your day? Probably. Yes, like... yeah. Almost Fine. entirely. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. And it sounds like a funny question, but when you get your headaches, are they more towards the front of your head or on the top or on the side? Ah, uh, the front. Okay, yeah. Fine. And do you notice any flashing lights or any black spots floating across your vision? Uh, not that I can think of, no. Okay, good. Fine, and have you, and I'm presuming that you don't wear contact lenses? No, I don't. Fine. Um, so is it just a routine sight test as far, uh, today as far as you're concerned? Yeah, yeah just okay. a general health checkup kind of thing. Sure. Um, so, have you ever had any need to go to the doctor or the hospital concerning your eyes in the past? Um, I any? think when I was 
a lot younger one time for mm. conjunctivitis. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and are you on any regular medication? Uh, no, no. Okay, great. Um, and any allergies like hay fever? Hay fever, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Has it kicked in yet? Um, uh, it's actually not too bad so far this year. Good. So, yeah. Okay, and anybody in the family with glaucoma or any other eye diseases that you know of? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, great. And any diabetes in the family that you know of? Yes, yes, my grandma and Good. my aunt. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, and any particular sports or hobbies or anything that you do that you use your, use your eyes for? Reading? <laughs> no sports. <laughs> You're not the sporty type. <laughs> Fine. And out of interest, how did you hear about us? Uh, online, by Google. So. Okay. Fine. Well, Melissa, would you like to pop your glasses on for me? Oh, yes. Does you have a colleague them back? Great. So we'll check your vision with those first. Thank you. <laughs> a very nice baby. <laughs> well, if I can ask you to cover up your left eye for me, just with the palm of your hand, great. So I'll bring the letters up on the screen behind me. Um, what's the lowest line you can manage to read there? Um, L, C, N, K. Okay, very good. And you don't have to worry too much about the bottom, but could you make out any from the top or middle if you can? I think I can do the middle actually. V Great. F L N. Very good, excellent. Uh, and then how about with your other eye? So if you swap over, brilliant, have a few blinks. Um, and these lines are all the same size. Um, could you make out any from the top? Uh, D N Z L. Very good. And then any from the middle, if you can, there. Hope they're not steaming up too much. <laughs> yeah, with the mask. Feel um, free to lower your mask, I don't know if you, you. need to. <laughs> um, the middle, V, F, L, N. Okay, very good, excellent. So, if you have a look with both eyes together now, um, you can look at the E just at the beginning of the top line. Uh, so I'm just going to cover and uncover your eyes. I'll just check how well your eye muscles are working together. Okay, very good. Lovely. And then if you can look at the H for me down here next to my finger, I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Good. So now then I'll just show you what the photograph um, of your retina looks like. <clears throat> so this camera um, that we have is a very useful one because um, it looks much further out into the periphery of the retina so we get a much wider uh, and better view of the retina in general. Um, oh, good, so, wow. <laughs> um, so this is your right eye first of all, your right retina. Um, good, so your retina is looking great, perfectly flat and intact. Good, excellent. Very good. And the eye is the only part of the body where um, one can look at a person's blood vessels um, directly. Um, so yours look perfectly healthy. Uh, sometimes certain general health conditions can show up, like diabetes and um, high blood pressure. Um, but yours look like they're in very good condition. Wow. Yeah. Very good. And this orange yellowy circle here is the head of the optic nerve. Um, and that's the nerve that goes from the back of the eye and to the brain ultimately. Um, and it's affected in various eye conditions and most commonly glaucoma, but yours looks perfectly healthy. Um, and also just to let you know, the pressure inside your eyes is absolutely fine and not too high, which is good. That's Because um, with conditions like glaucoma, the pressure is normally high. Uh, this is very good. Excellent. Um, it's fascinating. <laughs> it's a very nice view that we get. That's just a bit of hair there. <laughs> um, uh, and with this machine, we also get um, a black and white view, um, which is very useful because it'll sort of highlight anything that fluoresces easily, like hemorrhages and things. Um, but yours looks great, nice and uniform. Very good. Excellent. Um, and the left eye um, looks like a mirror image. Okay, good. Lovely. So, 
So again, your retina looks great. Perfectly flat and healthy. Very good. And again, your blood vessels look perfectly healthy, as does the nerve. Mm, very good. Now I'll just have a look at the black and white view. Good. So that looks brilliant as well. Perfectly uniform and um, no concerns there at all. Um, do you have any questions at all about those? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> well, they look great. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. It's fascinating. <laughs> oh, good, it is, definitely. Well, I'll pop in a few details. Um, I'll also have a look at your eyes under this machine here. That is so. Shall I take the uh, yes, glasses? please. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. So I'll slide this machine across. Um, so this one would just be a bright light. Um, good. So chin on the chin rest, thank you, and forehead touching the bar. Good. Is the height okay for you? Uh, yeah. Great. So I'm just going to turn these lights down. Okay. Um, but you can stare straight ahead back at the screen behind me. It's fine. Lovely. So chin on. Brilliant. Um, so yes, you can stare straight ahead back at the chart. Um, so first of all, then we'll just check your pupil reaction. Good, excellent. Good, uh, if you can look down to the ground for me. Good. Good, lovely, look straight ahead once more. Great, so now if I can ask you to have a look at my ear for me, my left ear. Good, I'm just going to hold this lens to your right, but it won't touch your eye there. So if you look up to the ceiling, great. Good, lovely. And then just with your eyes to your right hand side. Brilliant, and to your left. Good, and now it down to the ground. Great, so I'll just lift your lid up now. Good. Okay, good, excellent. Good, so now if I can ask you to have a look at my other ear. Are you okay then? Yeah. yeah. Great. Good, so if you look up again for C. Good, and just with your eyes to your right hand side. Good, and to your left. and now look down to the ground. Okay, so again, I'll just lift your lid. Excellent, good. Thank you, Melissa, you can sit back now. Thank you. Brilliant, so I'll just turn the lights back up. Okay, so is that all looks absolutely fine. I was checking the more um, anterior layers of your eyes as well, but no concerns at all. That's good. <laughs> um, so now then we'll have a check of your glasses prescription. Okay. Uh, so if I can ask you to look through these for me, um, like a pair of binoculars. 
<laughs> so you can rest your head on there. Brilliant. Good. Is the height okay? Uh, yes. Okay, lovely. So, so we'll do your right eye first. So I've made your left eye um, a little bit blurry. So it might feel a bit strange, um, but if you can try to keep both eyes open for me. Um, so if you look back over to the middle line, um, is that middle line clearer with number one now or clearer with number two? The number one. Okay, good. And then between number three now and number four. Number three. Okay, good. And then between number one now and number two. Number one. Okay, great. So if you have a look at the numbers on the red and the green, uh, which stand out more to do you think? Which look clearer? Uh, the numbers on the red or the numbers on the green? Or are they just the same? Um, I think the red. Okay, great. And how about now? They're about the same. Okay, great. So now if you can have a look at these black circles. Are they clearer and rounder with either number one or number two? Number one. Okay, good. And then between number three now and number four. Three. Okay, good. And then between number one now and number two. Number one. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so looking back over to the middle line, is it clearer with number one now or clearer with number two? Number one. Good, excellent. And then between number three now and number four. Number three. Three. Okay, good, lovely. Um, is the middle line um, okay to read there now? Yeah, V F L N. Good, excellent. Any at all from the bottom line there if you can? Uh um, Don't read, you can't. Yeah, no, I can't <laughs> read the bottom That's line. absolutely fine. That's very good. Um, so we'll just swap over and let's do your other eye. Brilliant, have a few blinks. So again, looking at the middle line. Is it clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? Uh, number one. Good, and then between number three now, and number four. Or is number four just smaller? So that was number three, and mm. that one's four. I think four is clearer. Okay, good, and then between number one now, and number two. Yeah, number one's much better. Okay, good. And then between number three now and number four. Number three. Okay, good. So again, if you look at the numbers on the red and the green, um, do either stand out more now? Yeah, the red does. Okay, great. And how about now? Uh, now the green does. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so now if you look at these back circles, um, are they clearer and rounder with either number one or number two? Uh or are they the same as each other? That was number one. And that was number two. I think more or less the same. <laughs> Good. It's fine. It's a valid answer. <laughs> and then between number three now and number four. Number three is better. Okay, good. And then between number one now and number two. Number one. Okay, great. Good. Excellent. So looking back over to the middle line, is it clearer with number one now? Or clearer with number two? Um, or are they just the same? The same. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and then between number three, which is now, or clearer with number four? Uh, number three. Okay, brilliant, good. Lovely, and is the middle line still okay to read there? Uh, yeah, V F L N. Okay, very good, excellent. So let's unblur this eye now. So looking at the middle line with both eyes together, is it clearer with number one now, or clearer with number two? Number one. Good, and then between number three now, and number four. Or is number four just smaller? Yeah, number, number four three. is just smaller, I think. Okay, good, excellent. Um, and could you make out any bit from the bottom line now? Possibly. <laughs> it is very <laughs> tiny, so don't worry if you can't. <laughs> I think the first one's either a H or an N. And good, an excellent. R, K. C or G. Very <laughs> good. Excellent. Lovely, thank you. Thank you, Melissa. You can thank sit you. back now. Brilliant. Okay, let's take this away. Okay, good. So, Melissa, well, in terms of your 
um, glasses prescription. Um, actually, it looks as the exactly the same. <laughs> um, so you're, I'm sure you know you're short sighted in both eyes, uh, and you're minus one in both eyes. So uh, and yeah, no no astigmatism. Um, so yeah, how do you how do you feel about your glasses? Yeah, yeah, that was good. It actually surprised me that I was able to read the small ones at the end. Very good. <laughs> Not many people can. <laughs> Excellent. Um, good, so you're happy with your glasses? Yes, yeah, I think so. Okay, but. good. And do you always protect your eyes from UV? Do you have a good pair of sunglasses that you wear? I do not. Oh. Well, because you've got quite light colour eyes, um, it's a good idea to protect your eyes from UV for the long-term health of your eyes. Oh, okay. So it's something to think about. You can have prescription ones or, or not, whatever you prefer. Uh, does the colour of the eyes affect that? Um, yes, because your light, your eyes would let more light through than say mine, because oh. um, there's less pigment, less melanin there to absorb the light, oh. so more passes through. I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, good, good idea for you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never wear sunglasses. That's so bad. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You're not in the habit. No. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Good, good habit to get into. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well. Uh, but like I said, health-wise, you're either looking excellent. Uh, so do you have any questions at all? Um, I don't think so right now. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. that's all good. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Good, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem at all. <laughs> oh, no problem. I hope it, I hope it was useful. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so no, there's no, there's no real need to change your glasses unless you particularly want a new style. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would think about some sunglasses given that it's been, been sunny recently and hopefully more sunny weather to come. Yeah, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How often do you suggest rechecking? Uh, so we're due for another artist in a year. A year. Um, okay. If it's okay by you, you'll receive a reminder from us in a year. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Great. Yeah, that's great. Thank Lovely. you so much. <laughs> Thank no you. No problem, it's a pleasure. <laughs> I'll let my colleagues know. Thank you. I'll just turn on the light first, okay? Okay. Lovely woman, so my name's Davina. Um, so yes, so we'll do a couple of pre-tests in here first, then we'll go through next door. Um, so with the visit machine, there's two things. First of all, it'll give a rough measure of your prescription, then we'll check the pressure inside your eye, which is the one with the puff there. Have you had that before? Uh, yes, once. Okay. Fine. Well, I'll warn you it's when it's coming, but just to remind you, you'll feel um, a small puff of air on your eye, which might make you jump a bit. So, would you like to pop your chin on the chin wrist and forehead touch on the bar? Uh, Great. Is the height okay for you? Yes, thank you. Great. So, you'll see a little red hot air balloon in front of you, which will go in and out of focus. You can keep staring at that for me. Very good, we'll do the same thing in your left arm. Okay, brilliant. So now we'll do the puffer test. Um, so we'll do three in each eye to get an average. So you can stare as you are straight ahead at the little green target in front of you. Oops, so nearly there. Great. <laughs> Strange feeling, I know. <laughs> Lovely, just one more now. Very good. So now we'll do three in your left eye. Almost there. Good. I'll do just one more now. Very good. Thank you, Missy. You can sit back now. Thank you. You can turn to both this machine here. Um, this machine takes a very detailed image of your retina. Uh, there will be a flash of light and we'll do two in each eye. Um, so what you'll see is a little round target in front of you. Um, that target will start off blue, which means that you're too far away. Um, as you move closer, it'll turn green. And um, if you go too close, it'll turn red. So green is what you want. Okay. Um, so feel free to hold on to these side bits here to sort of keep yourself steady. And if you can peer through that black hole with your right eye. Great. So a little bit closer, it does feel like you're going right up to the machine. Good size, so as wide as you can. It's very sensitive, I know. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Well, we might do another one, actually. So have one last blink. Good. And now eyes as wide as you can, if you keep both eyes open as wide as you can. 
uh, are come a little bit further away. They're a little bit closer, very good. Okay, great. And I'll just do one more in the side. Great. Put this again eyes as wide as you can. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. That's great. And if you swap over, we'll do two in your left arm. Good. So again, eyes as wide as you can. Okay, excellent. And one more. Good. So again, eyes as wide as you can. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Liz. That's great. Thank you. You can follow me through next door. Thank you. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Liz. That's great. Thank you. You can follow me through next door. Thank you. Sure.